But the moment a sinner places his or her faith in Christ, that person is born again or born anew as the life of God is imparted to that new believer. We will talk more about that. Number two, the second analogy is it is pictured, that is regeneration is pictured as a spiritual resurrection. Romans chapter 6 and verse 13 really emphasizes this. Paul writes, neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are, and notice that, alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. If you were spiritually dead and you are now spiritually alive, that means a spiritual resurrection has taken place in your life right? So whenever a person accepts Jesus Christ as their personal savior, they go from spiritual death to spiritual life. If you don't know Christ as your personal savior, I want you to know that you are spiritually dead this morning. You say, well, I'm, I'm physically alive. Yes, we'll talk more about that too. It's possible to be physically alive and spiritually dead. But it is also possible to be physically alive and spiritually alive. And that's what you and I have experienced as born-again believers in Jesus Christ. So regeneration, the picture is that of a new birth. And we'll look at that in a moment in John chapter 3. But also it's a picture of a spiritual resurrection that has taken place in our hearts and lives. Number three, it is a picture of that of a new creation. A new creation. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17 says this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a what? A new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Salvation not only brings about spiritual life, but it makes us completely new people in Christ. It is by regeneration that God begins the process of conforming us into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. We are all as born again believers, we are on this journey to becoming more and more like Christ. Now we know that that process will not be complete this side of glory. We will be like him when we see him one day. And that will be the day of the rapture, right? That is the next great event on God's prophetic calendar. That is the rapture of the church where we will meet Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior in the air, not only to be reunited with our saved loved ones, but to be with Christ forever and evermore. But during our time here on earth, we are in that process, which by the way, we will talk more about next week, the doctrine of sanctification. That is where we are becoming more and more like Christ. But we are a new creature, a new creation. So what regeneration has to do with is a new birth, a spiritual resurrection, and also this idea here of being a new creation in Christ. Now that ought to excite you if you are a born again believer in Christ today. I want you to know that if you are saved, if you can say, I know that I am a born again Christian, then you have experienced the new birth. You have gone from spiritual death to spiritual life. You have experienced a spiritual resurrection in your life. And I also want you to know, and this is exciting, we are new creatures. The old has passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now, let's talk about regeneration for a moment. Three points that I want to emphasize with you today. Number one, I want us to think about the necessity of regeneration. Why do we need to be regenerated by the power of God? Well, two reasons. Number one, we are born spiritually dead. That is the way that we come into the world. We come into the world spiritually dead. I remind you again of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 17. Listen to what God said to Adam and Eve. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely, what's the word? 
die. You ought to circle that word there in Genesis 2 and verse 17 because the word means much, much more than just physical death. The death that God is referring to here is referring to much more than physical death because we know that Adam and Eve didn't physically die the very day that they ate the forbidden fruit, right? They ate the forbidden fruit. They were still living. As a matter of fact, you've got to go several chapters later before you find them physically dying. God is not referring necessarily just to physical death, but he is referring to spiritual death. Adam and Eve spiritually died the very moment that they disobeyed God. And now every member of the human race is born spiritually dead. And that includes you and it includes me. But regeneration, it is the miracle of salvation because it brings life out of death. 